we always ask a patient, you know, how are you? You know, how have you been? But imagine we already know that before they come in. This is optometrist and researcher Kishan Devraj, who is developing a technology that harnesses digital activity from smartphones to analyze the daily impact of an eye condition. The app is called Oversight, and it's currently being piloted at Moorfields Eye Hospital. Our phones have sensors and our wearables have sensors which uh, uh, collects information that could give you information about uh, eye disease and its progression. So Oversight collects this information passively and actively to give us an idea of uh, uh, the impact of somebody's lifestyle uh, who has eye disease. For example, you know, currently we measure vision every year or every two years um, through a visual acuity assessment. But imagine if we could tell how uh, an eye condition affects people day to day, minute by minute. What Oversight does is it collects all of this information uh, and uh, gives us an understanding of um, uh, how an eye disease affects somebody uh, on, on, on a behavioral scale. So we collect uh, active data and we collect passive data. So it's, it's looking at, uh, for example, um, ambient light levels. Um, it's looking at uh, steps. It's looking at our sleep patterns. Uh, it's, it's looking at how we use our keyboard on our phones, uh, how many mistakes we're making. Somebody who's having progressing uh, eye disease is making more mistakes on their phone. Um, you know, the rate at which somebody's typing, um, are people becoming more lonely? Is it affecting their mental health? Uh, are they not engaging as much as they used to engage on their phones. Mobility, uh, you know, people we know who have progressive eye disease are, are probably falling down more. You know, our phones can pick that up as well. Uh, so so uh, we're measuring um, all of this uh, uh, um, changes over time. We found that uh, we can extract a lot of this information and compare it with fundus images and disease progression. And maybe one day we can use this as a uh, a way of measuring somebody's uh, lifestyle change or progression of eye disease. Some observers have described AI as an existential threat, whilst others have highlighted the potential of the technology. How does Devraj see AI affecting the profession? I think we should keep an open mind as optometrists and as healthcare professionals um, that the industry is changing and is changing because we have major challenges um, in our system. You know, we have a healthcare system which is very overburdened. People are waiting longer than they've ever waited before for treatments. Ophthalmology in the next five, 10 years is gonna be very different to what it is now. The burden would just be so much bigger. And so we have to understand that technology is probably the only way now that is gonna resolve some of those issues. We still want quality uh, eye care. We want accessible eye care. Um, but if we do this right with technology and AI, then we could we, we, we could make that happen. That brings up a lot of opportunities for optometrists. Uh, and I think that this is why we should keep open mind is that, you know, there is a lot of opportunity out there to make a difference. I've always wanted to make a difference. Uh, you know, I happen to uh, be involved in eye care and healthcare, and um, I thought this is my chance to really do something. And I realized that um, innovation, uh, technology is really where um, you're getting massive growth and massive um, impact. I was always excited by uh, building basic things like uh, websites, etc. Um, and it was during a lockdown where I uh, you know, um, enhanced my skills. I was learning um, how, how to code a little bit on a higher level, uh, learn a little bit more about artificial intelligence. You know, um, uh, and 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 you know, I was able to build some applications, and uh, slowly with is with every um, progress that you make, it motivates you even more. So I think the progress fuels the motivation, uh, and then eventually, you know, I find myself uh, building large-scale applications. An early project that Kishan worked on was a chatbot for the Gene Vision website, which aims to inform patients with genetic eye diseases about their condition. I remember seeing once on social media that um, Professor Maria Musaji uh, at Moorfields had um, released an information resource uh, portal on, online where you know people can uh, research whether it's clinicians or patients, um, genetic eye diseases, you know what causes it, the overviews, you know um, the genetic links, the treatments, and um, you know support out there. So it basically takes in a lot of is is a very very resourceful, so much information on that. And I thought to myself, uh, it's really good, uh, but there must be a way to make it more accessible. 
And at that time, I was obviously learning about um, building applications. So I thought, why not um, build an artificial assistant, which actually makes it a lot easier, especially for people who have genetic eye conditions. You know, they just have to, uh, you know, talk to it or uh, type just the information that they need, which will then throw back the information that they want. Um, and so I spoke to Marie about it. She said uh, she introduced me to some people at Morefields and uh, she, she said, um, can you build this? I said, yes, uh, I think I can do it. Um, you know, I had the vision, uh, but I hadn't, didn't know exactly how to build it. Um, you know, I, I knew about, you know, programming, etc. And then I think a few months down the line, we had a, we had the product and, uh, you know, it's been amazing. It's, uh, it's, we've had some great feedback. So I'll give an example, somebody who has retinitis pigmentosa, uh, they might ask uh, uh, through Alexa even, they may say, okay, so uh, what is this condition? Um, tell me a little bit more about it. Um, why have I got it? How is it inherited? Um, they, they may say, okay, so um, can I drive? Uh, what are the driving standards? Uh, what should I tell my employers? Um, and what should I think about when um, getting a new job or, you know, things like this are really, really useful bits of information extracted from the website, um, which, which and, and, and Alexa will talk back and uh, all, the, all the chat bot online will talk back and it will, it will tell you what you need to know. You can read more about Kishan and other developments in artificial intelligence technology in the June-July OT cover feature, which is linked in the description.